G'day YouTube, welcome back. My name's Jay here. Well, as the title says, does anyone really know what's going to do, what's going to happen with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general? I mean, there's a lot of conflict, conflicting news out there at the moment. So really, the things that I'm looking for is I'm following the trend and this is the trend that I'm really following at the moment. The market cap, it's going up. It's not going down. So even when prices fall on Bitcoin and Ethereum and things like that, the market cap continues to grow. So that is my key indicator that we're still in a bull market. And again, it won't really matter what happens to the price of any one coin unless there's some big significant drop. As long as the market cap continues to grow, that's what I'm looking for. That's the key. Because let's have a look at some of the uh, different news we've got going out there from different sources. So over here, Cointelegraph, and I'm not trying to uh, fud on any of these. It just goes to show that no one really knows what's going to happen. You have to make your own mind up, but you've got to base it on a whole stack of things. Obviously, this stuff is a, uh, a good help. Uh, and it says here, uh, stocks crash can stop 11.3 Bitcoin price in its tracks. So basically, this article goes on to say that, you know, uh, stocks, uh, particularly the S&P 500 and Bitcoin, uh, they've been trading very similar for, for a while now. Now they have slowly but surely broken away over the last sort of few weeks and things like that. But if there was a significant drop in stocks at the moment, good chance that Bitcoin won't go any higher. And in all fairness, most likely people will uh, want money and they'll liquidate their most liquid assets. And that'd be these. Bitcoin would be the first thing that would probably go unfortunately. Now not everyone's going to sell their Bitcoin, but you know, some of the bigger traders who need uh, regular liquidity, they would. And then what happens from there is retail, uh, you know, the retail investors, they will panic and then they'll basically just uh, follow suit. Now, not all of them, but definitely newbies and who don't understand the space and things like that uh, will sell. So, uh, you know, we're trading around $11,000 at the moment but that could drop quite easily. So that's a report here. Now we go over to here. Bitcoin will drop to 10K before the rally resumes. So again, uh, a little bit uh, in line with this, but they're just saying the, the rise will stop at 11.3K if a uh, stock crash comes. Now over here, they're saying that uh, it's gonna drop to 10,000 before the rally resumes. Fair enough, and, and they go through you know their reasons why they're saying that and things like that, uh, and they're using data from Coin API uh, and things like that, and they're saying that basically Bitcoin does the same uh, positively that it does negatively, and it can do it all, all on the same day. So it might pump twenty percent in one day and drop by twenty percent in exactly the same day. And this is the chart they've got down here that's showing. Uh, positive uh, change uh, to the negative change. Uh, and they are very similar, not identical. There is some differences there, but fairly similar. So, you know, Bitcoin has, you know, it's had a, a big jump up. It's probably a good chance there's gonna be a big drop down uh, of equal value. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see again. This is just one, you know, one outlet saying that. Let's go over here, let's have a look over here. All right, Bitcoin and altcoins signaling fresh rally. So this person uh, is bullish uh, and this article is bullish. Uh, and look, short term, I'm neither bullish nor bearish. It's, it's hard to know. But long term, at least for the next sort of 12, 18 months, uh, I'm quite bullish. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, it's going to the moon. That's just my personal opinion. I don't offer you any financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say should be used as financial advice. Uh, just you can use it as a tad bit of information. But go and do your own research. You know, if your YouTube's your thing, look at other good quality YouTubers. Again, get on sites like this. You know, Bitcoin.com, and uh, you know, there's a ton of different places out there that you can get information from. Twitter's another good one. But don't just blindly believe any one place, any one person, uh, any one article. You got to take it over, you know, several different articles, and you'll get a better feel for where uh, people are pointed. And then again, of course, always go to your charts, uh, and we'll get to the charts shortly. So we can go over here. On-chain data suggests Bitcoin's rally is over for now. 
So these people are saying that we're probably going to stagnate and maybe trade sideways. Not so much going up, not so much going down. Just, you know, for now it's going to basically kind of stay where it is. So there's a lot of different information out there and it's hard to know what's, uh, you know, who's going to be right and who's going to be wrong. Because in all fairness, most of it is just a guess. That's all it is. No one really knows what's going to happen. The bears don't really know what's going to happen and the bulls don't really know what's going to happen. It's whatever side, you know, uh, retail gets on and, you know, institutional investors and that's what will swing it one way or the other. But my gut feeling uh, is we're going to be in, we are in a bull market and we're going to continue the bull market for quite some time. But that doesn't mean that there's not going to be any big corrections. So we go over to our old trusty chart over here. So as we can see, you know, Bitcoin from back here, back in 2018, went on one hell of a run for months and months and months and then had a sell-off. Looked like it was coming back, had a sell-off. Looked like it was coming back, had a sell-off. Pumped up, bit of a fake out there. People thought, yep, we're getting back on it. And then we've had this big mad sell-off. So that is what markets do and it's even more amplified in cryptocurrencies so I mean we had a good rally here traded sideways for a while and even slightly downwards and now we've had this big massive pump so you can see here we had this pump and then it pumped even more and then we had this big sell-off and now we're sitting here around that kind of eleven thousand one hundred eleven thousand two hundred dollar mark now I would not be surprised if we don't do something similar to this again so we're gonna pump up sell off bit of a fake out sell off hit a bit of an all-time high and then slowly start to sell off and then have a pump so I wouldn't be surprised if we trade sideways for a while even slowly downwards maybe come and retest this sort of $10,500 level we could even come down lower we could come back and test this kind of $9,800 level and then we'll start to make our way back up again but it's not just going to be parabolic all the time this is not normal of a market. It doesn't just constantly do this and keep rising and rising without, there we go, a sell-off, a bit of a fake out, sell-off, another fake out, a sell-off, and a sell-off. And then we tried it, si traded sideways before we had this breakout. So my uh, opinion, and that's all it is, not financial advice, my opinion is I wouldn't be surprised if we travel sideways for a while. I don't know if we're gonna travel sideways for months on end, but it's quite possible, and particularly if stocks uh, get hit real hard and no more stimulus happens, there's every chance Bitcoin could drop way back down into here. Now, I'm not really gonna get overly nervous unless we sort of come down below the $6,000 mark. If we, if we had a sell-off and came down to here, but then found our way back up to here, and started using this as resistance, this uh, thing here, I wouldn't be too worried. But if we start to get down to here, and particularly if we break this trend line, so at the moment that would take us to anything under five and a half thousand really, I'd definitely be concerned. Now, again, that doesn't mean it's all over, particularly if it's a, another, you know, flash stock crash, you know, not because of COVID anymore, just because stimulus is, uh, the stimulus packages and things like that have stopped then I would not be surprised for it to find its way all the way down here. And then, again, it'd have a fairly quick sort of rebound. So we could just quickly sell off quickly, get down to here around 6,000, and then slowly start to find our way back up again. And it just could be a really long, prolonged, uh, drawn out sort of bear market, because that would bring us uh, back down outside of that. So still bearish, but as long as we stay above this uh, trend line, then we're technically still ready to break back out and go to set all new all-time highs. But again, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen. My gut feeling is we're gonna trade in between these two ranges for a while and possibly come and bounce off here. And I'm not saying it's gonna happen in October uh, or September. It could uh, just quickly take off or it could quickly drop down and bounce uh, off this $10,500 level. And again, maybe even the $9,800 level. We'll just have to wait and see. But this video, basically, this vlog, was to show you that there's a million different opinions out there. And none of them are wrong. I just can't tell you they're right either. And I can't tell you that what I'm saying is right either. You have to make your own mind up. And again, the easiest way is I look at this. 
Every time we come to the market cap, it continues to grow. This was only two, three weeks ago. We're at 270, 280,000. We're ranging up to maybe the 300, sorry, 300 billion, not 300,000, 300 billion. And then we drop back down to 280, 290 billion. But now we're making our way up to 350 billion. Just the other day I was talking to you and it was 347 billion. So it is growing. That is what I'm looking for. The market cap is telling me that money is coming in, it's not going out. That doesn't mean these sell-offs can't happen. All of a sudden, someone wants to short the market. A number of people get together and want to short the market. They get paid out in Bitcoin when they short the market and it goes down. So it's not like they're getting paid out in cash and running off with the cash. They're getting paid in Bitcoin. Yes, they probably turn some of that Bitcoin into cash to get some profits, but this is the market going up. Just because the price goes down doesn't mean the market's going down. If the market cap is going down and the prices are going down, the whole thing's going down. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to zero. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying follow the trend. The trend is at the moment, the market cap is going up. Prices overall are going up, but we definitely have days where they pull back. And then we go to our chart. And let's just zoom out. Massive uh, peak, 2017, early 2018 big sell-off took a year almost a year to the day so this is what 15th 16th 17th of December 2018 this was about the uh, 17th of December 2017 so it took a full year to basically get here and correct and then it started to make its way back up dropped down a bit traveled sort of sideways COVID happened dropped off and now it's starting to make its way back up so we have broken out of this uh, ascending triangle and we're breaking up and breaking out. That doesn't mean we're just gonna skip straight to 20,000 and then skip straight to 100,000 and 150,000 and you know, possibly $288,000 like uh, has been shown on Plan B's chart. And now don't take that as Plan B says it's going to $288,000. It's, you know, he gives an overall view of where he thinks it could go. He, he's not 100% sure and even he says that. I can't wait for him to come back from his trip and uh, get back on Twitter and put some more stuff out. Uh, I enjoy his content, but there's definitely a possibility that it could go to 288,000. But if COVID really kicks in and stimulus stops and lots of bad things happen, well, it's not impossible to say that Bitcoin couldn't go to zero, but it could be similar to our oil stocks, oil prices. They went minus zero, but now they've made their way back and they're now in the positive, nowhere near the prices they were before. So it's very possible that Bitcoin could drop heavily and maybe even go to a hundred bucks or something like that. I don't believe that's what's going to happen. I'm just saying it's not out of the realms of possibility, particularly with the state of the world at the moment. No one knows what's happening, but just try and follow the trend. And the trend at the moment is we've broke out of this uh, resistance and now we're starting to make our way up. So until that trend changes, until I see again, maybe we break down below here but even if we do break down below here, really anything staying above the average price for the last few years, which has been around about $8,000, I wouldn't be too worried. We get down into the $9,000, $8,000 range, short of getting down to actually $8,000, I wouldn't be too worried. But again, my biggest concern would be if we break the $6,000 range at the moment. If we went below that, I'd be, I'd be definitely worried. And I'd start to get worried at around about sort of $7,000. So halfway between six and eight. And just worried that we were in for a really big correction, not that it's all over. It's when we break below this trend line down here, then I would be worried that again, not so much it's all over, but who knows how low we can go. Anyway, a bit of doom and gloom there. And I don't want everyone to think that I'm doom and gloomish. I am actually bullish. I believe that we are going to go to all time highs. We just have to wait and see. Who knows? Again, look at all that information up there. Some positive, some bearish, uh, some in between. Who knows? That's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. There were still some gains out there to be made today. And I'll see you next time.